everybody welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel so today i have not only my january finished pages but everything i colored in november december and january so as i let you guys know in a couple videos ago i was really busy well i went on vacation in november i went to disney world for two weeks and then um in december i started full time at my job so it was kind of adjusting so i didn't end up coloring very much that month and then january i ended up picking back the pace and getting back into my coloring hobby, which was really, really nice. I was so happy to be able to color a lot more in January. So with that being said, there are quite a few pages I have here to share with you guys, and I'm really excited to finally be back to the finished pages video game. Um, thank you so much for clicking on this one. Like I said, I know it's been a, quite a few months so I really appreciate you guys still sticking around and being here and being interested and in checking up on what I've been coloring so without further ado let's go ahead and get started so the first book I have is A Million Bears by Lulu Mayo, and this is actually a buddy color that I did with my friend Amanda Downey over on Instagram I think we picked this page either in November or December. I cannot remember, but we both ended up finishing it in January. So that worked out perfect. So the page we picked to color together is this one. I'll go ahead and put up Amanda's picture here. I absolutely love her colors. She did such a good job. I think she said she used crayons as well. I think hers came out so super cute. We both had trouble picking a color palette as there is a lot going on in this page, but I think hers turned out amazing. So Amanda, thank you so much for doing this buddy color with me and getting me to color in this book because this is my first page in The Million Bears. I think I have quite a few of Lulu Mayo's books. Not all of them, not quite all of them, but um, I do have quite a few, so I really need to get coloring in them. So this was my first completed page in A Million Bears, and I really like how it came out. So for the background, I actually followed a tutorial that A Cluttered Life po posted on her YouTube channel. I'll have the video linked below. She uses watercolor, pe uh, not pencils, watercolor markers in a lot of her coloring, and her colorings are absolutely beautiful. So I had to try out the background, and this was the page I was working on at the time, so I was just like, what the heck? Let's go ahead and give it a go on this page. Mm. I, I like the way the background came out. I just don't know if it's suited to this page just because there's already quite a lot going on in this page um, with the candy and the bears and the jars and just everything. So I don't know if the background really suits itself well to this particular page, but I do like how the technique and everything turned out. So the background is watercolor markers. They are the Ahuhu watercolor markers as well as I believe I use super tips as well. And then I based a few of the things, not everything, I based some of the candy and some of the bear's clothes with watercolor markers as well. And then I went over everything in Prismacolor pencils. And I used white Posca pen for the accents on all of the jars. So that's this page. Thank you again, Amanda, for doing that body color with me. So next up, I figured we'd jump right into all of my split colorings. I have six split colorings to share with you from the past three months that I've colored with my mom and my sister. So the first book is Chibi Girls, Volume 2 by April Amber. And both of these are actually with my mom. It feels like we colored this forever ago because I think we did this in November, but yes, this is the zombie page I colored with my mom. Hers is on the right and I am on the left. My mom uses colored pencils on all of her pages and I use alcohol markers, gel pens, colored pencils, everything. Um, but I think this one is all alcohol marker. It's so fun how we both did pink hair and we both did a purple top. I absolutely love how my mom drew the Sugar Skull makeup on her zombie. She drew in a sunset background. She gave the skull on the bottom corner, Sugar Skull, 
drawing as well. So the next one is this one. <laughs> this one's so cute. <laughs> Look how different our pages came out. Oh my goodness. But guys, guys, can we just take a minute for my mom's creativity? She drew that little rainbow road. She drew the shed or the, I, I don't know, candy house? I'm not sure in the background, like what? Look at how amazing my mom's side is. How creative is that? I absolutely love her side. <laughs> um, again, colored pencils, I went ahead and did um, alcohol markers and I used a lot of shimmer and shine. I used um, Mod Podge, glitter Mod Podge. It's not really showing up too great on the camera. I used glitter Mod Podge on the snow. I used metallic paint in the um, stars and hearts and I used stickles up on the tree star. This one is just so fun and it's just insane how different both of our pages came out with my mom not really seeing that it was a snow scene because she didn't have the tree or the snowman on her side so she went completely opposite than how my side turned out but still a really cute page and my mom did 10 out of 10 with the creativity on this one. Next are the pages we completed out of Chibi Girls by Coco Wayo. So this is the book that we're trying to complete fully. Um, I don't know if we'll do it this year, but you know, it's a goal. It's only February, so it definitely could be done. Um, so I have pages with just my sister, I think, in this one to share with you guys. So this is the first split. My sister's side is on the right and I'm on the left. Look how cute! She did such a good job. I actually love the color palette, the Christmas color palette. I love what she did with the hood. The little Chibi's outfit is so freaking cute. My side, I added, again, a bunch of stickles. Stickles on the bow, stickles on the stars. <laughs> I did a soft pastel background. My sister uses alcohol markers and gel pen there on the presents. Look how cute. So fun. Next up is another one that we completed a while ago. This is the little teacup chibi. How cute. I love, love, love this one because my sister's is like nighttime. Mine's more like light daytime perspective. This one was really fun for me to do. I did the galaxy with my Prismacolors in the teacup. I thought that would be really fun. My sister used alcohol markers. Such a fun page. And then the last one is again with my sister and we did this mermaid. Again, our seashells are like the exact same color. How did that happen? My sister went with like a green siren mermaid. And that is that page. Next up is 50 Christmas Elves, and this is the last split page I have to share with you guys this month. This is by Camellia Angel Kova, and I did this page with my mom. <gasps> Look how cute! <laughs> I got this book specifically because I thought it would be fun for buddy colors because they're pretty simple, sweet images, and this was a lot of fun to color, and I think that the split turned out super fun. Again, my mom uses color pencils. I have alcohol markers. And then the shiny bit is just metallic watercolor paint there on the border. And I used white gel pen as well for accents.
that was a really sweet, fun page that I'm happy my mom wanted to do a split out of this book for, with me. Next up is this PDF by Mystic Art Mirrors. This was, I uh, believe, I can't remember when, uh, what year they came out with uh, the three set of Christmas PDFs, but I bought that and I did one last year in January and I was able to do another one from that set this year and I am so pleased with how this PDF turned out. Look at that shimmer. That's all stickles and gel pen. So I used Prismacolors on her skin and everywhere else that is colored pencil, I used my Polychromas, which I was so excited for. And to be honest, this page made me fall in love with my Polychromas like even more. I absolutely love how her hair was to color with them. Her eyes turned out beautiful. Yeah, I wanted to use my polychromos for the rest of the month on everything I colored. Um, her lips are polychromo. Yeah, everything but her skin, I'm just more comfortable with um, my skin combination I have with my Prismas. I need to figure out a good skin combination with polychromos. So if you guys have um, your go-to combinations you like to use, let me know. Um, other things I used on this page, like I said, were stickles. I used a tiny bit of alcohol marker. As you can see, I based her skin with alcohol marker. I based her hood and a few things on the Christmas um, baubles there. I used white Posca on the puffs as well as around the edge of her hood. I also used black glaze on her belt. And then the background is just alcohol marker. I think this is probably one of my favorite colorings I've ever colored. This was just made me really proud that I colored this. I think I'm getting so much better at skin and portraits. I really think my portraits are one of my favorite things to color and I'm just so happy with how this one came out. Next, I completed my first mandala from 50 Stylish Mandalas by Camilla Angel Kova. And I just did the first This Book Belongs to page. Looks like this. I did this back in November, so it was just like a kind of fall, fallish palette. And then I outlined the words with a silver gel pen. I usually pick um, one gel pen or two gel pens and a couple alcohol markers to do my mandalas. So that has, is how that came out. Then I completed another mandala from 50 Nighttime Mandalas by Camilla Angelkova. This is probably my favorite mandala book. I always love how my mandalas turn out. And I did the sun. I have to say this was more challenging just because it wasn't a traditional mandala. I found it a little more challenging as to where to place the colors. But again, I just used alcohol markers and I believe only one gel pen this time, just the gold. And then I added the little gold dots up at the top because I thought that looked cute. Oh, these are actually, um, these are the Sharpie, the new Sharpie jewel tones or something like that. The pastel Sharpies um, that I got these. They don't, I don't think they have the name, but, um, they look like this and I got a pack of these and I wanted to try them out. They're all like pastel tones. That's what I use on this page. So alcohol marker, but specifically the Sharpie pastel ones. So yeah. Next up is Hiver. So quick shout out, cause I don't think I've shown this yet on my channel. I don't believe, but my beautiful friend, my dear, sweet, lovely, amazing queen, Michaela, um, Michaela and Renee Coloring. She got me this book. She sent this over to me, gosh, forever ago in October. November? November? I'm not sure. A while ago, but then we finally did buddy colors out of it. We did two buddy colors. So let me show you. First, we have this one. <gasps> so cute! So cute! 
So let me pop up Michaela's on the screen as well so you guys can see. I think we just picked Winnie the Pooh as a theme. Um, and so this was her Winnie the Pooh picture. Super cute. We went completely opposite. Again, like we didn't pick anything near the same page. Um, and this was mine. So I just used um, Archiza. Arteza colored pencils to color this in and then I use a Pentel fine point pen to do the black outline and I was really happy with how this came out. This book is challenging mainly because coloring snow is very hard and remembering to leave certain areas white is very challenging so my tip if you have high vert is that I did the blue um, because like the highlight part of the snow, I did that first. So obviously I do the black outline. And then I did the blue first. So I knew exactly where, what was going to be left over as white. Because I feel like if you leave that till the end, um, I don't know. You'll see my other one. I messed up and I colored in some of the snow. But anyways, this turned out really cute. And Winnie the Pooh is so sweet. So the next one we did... Not only me and Michaela, but Meg also joined in on this one. Meg's our atrium. So let me pop up their pictures as well on the screen. So this one, the theme was Mulan. So we picked a picture from Hiver specifically, but it had to be a Mulan picture. And of course, they went for the villains. So nice, so cute. <laughs> I love how theirs turned out. Like, of course, they picked the same picture. That's so funny. Um, I went with Mushu. This one was fun. I did this one all in watercolor based markers. So there's a mix. I have so many watercolor markers, to be honest with you guys. So it's a mix. Um, but yeah, this one, I feel like there was supposed to be white somewhere and I colored it in. Oh, almost all of them that you can see. I don't think you'll be able to tell, but like I used white, my white gel pen or my white um, Posca pen to go over it because I colored it all in. So there might be other bits in here that were supposed to be white, but you know, you'll never know unless you look super close, which you guys aren't going to ever. So um, yeah, that was super fun. I just wanted to try it. I thought watercolor markers would work okay because there weren't too big of spaces except for here where it looks a little streaky. But other than that, I think it came out really solid for using um, watercolor based markers because the snow in the background is like so light, you can't really notice the streaking too bad. But again, Michaela and Meg, thank you so much for doing those body colors with me. And Michaela, thank you so much for getting me this book. It is so cute. Next, I did one out of Animals, Animal Mosaics, Color by Number. This is by Sun Life Drawing. This is definitely a book I'm trying to finish. I'm going in order, and I did The Elephant, and this is the cover page. Boom. Look at that. I think that came out super good. So vibrant, so rainbow, so beautiful. And then I colored in the um, in-betweens with black. So you can see in this book I do a bunch of different things. I just did black this time and I think that came out really good. I kind of want to do the rest of the book exactly like this. Like I want to remember what colors I use because I think these look really good together because I use different markers um, every single time. So you can see like not every page ends up looking the same, but I really like this. So I'm thinking I might just continue the rest of the book with this palette that I picked. Um, and I used the, what are these called? I used the Tao Tree Skinny Alcohol Markers on this. 50 Diamond Mandalas, color by number by Sachin Sach Deva. This was my first page out of this book. I really have been wanting to color in this though for months, so I'm happy I finally got around to it. I just did this quick one. These are really simple, really easy coloring. I kind of wanted to add some shading, but then again, I was like, you know what? This is just like nice and relaxing. I don't really need to go back. I was going to go back and add pencils after the fact, but I decided not to. Not to say that I won't in the future because I do think that would definitely make it pop more, but... It was just really easy, simple, mindless coloring. I think this book this book is really good for that, and I could see myself completing the whole thing just for that fact that these can be colored super fast and super easy. Next, I have Color by Number, Flowers and Mandalas. This I want to actually colored in Disney World, so this was forever ago that I did this. Where is it? Where is it? 
I did this mandala. Look how pretty. I love how the markers look. Oh, did I, did I do two? Did I show this to you already? Oh my gosh, I should have marked it. Either I did two or I've already shown, no, I swear I colored this on the plane. I think I did two. Okay, just ignore me. I love how the um, markers lay down on this like premium paper. It's like, it literally looks printed. It's so pretty. So there's that one, and then I did this one. Again, I used the Tao Tree Skinny Alcohol Markers. Look at the back. Oh my goodness. <gasps> this is Okay, so next up, I just have this super cute PDF from Yampuff Stuff. So Yampuff actually has a collection of free PDFs over on her website. So I'll have it linked down below for you guys to peruse and see if you guys want to download anything. But this one is a Little Mermaid. It's more of like a postcard size. It's super small. I finished it in like an hour and a half-ish. Um, I'm not super happy with, let me zoom in just a smidge, she witch, how her hair came out. I'm still not really good with like knowing where to add the like shadows and highlights and all of that, but I'm really happy with how her skin turned out. Again, this is all alcohol marker. Everything is alcohol marker except for the background is gelatos and Crayola cream sticks. And I did stickles in the flower, which I had like a huge boo-boo. It like squirted out just like that moisture and like smeared the ink really bad so you can see it's like really black up there oops and then i used white posca to highlight her tail and the bubbles i actually used um jelly roll glaze too on them but i don't feel like it didn't come out that great but this was so fun i love the background super cute super cute love this one Okay, so I have two more pages to share with you guys, but this is my disclaimer. I In December, I did a little, like, um, not giveaway, but a, the, my two top supporters on my Twitch stream, I said that the two people who supported me the most that month um, would receive coloring pages from me. So I know they both watch my YouTube channel, so I still wanted to show them in my finished pages, but I want to let them know that I'm about to show them, so if they don't want to be spoiled, go ahead and click out of the video now. Um, thanks for watching, you two. I appreciate you guys, and I will be sending these your way this month. So with that being said, here are the last two pages I have to share with you guys. So here is this one. So it's kind of a companion to the last one. This is Rapunzel. So same artist, Yam Puff, and this was a free coloring page off of her website. I did this with alcohol marker. I love this one. Out of the two, this is definitely my favorite, so I'm sad to part with it. But I think that the person is going to is going to love it because they really, really like um, Tangled, uh, the Disney movie. So I think he's going to really appreciate it. Um, again, the background is gelatos and Crayola cream sticks, a combination. A little bit of gel pen, stickles on the flowers there. Yeah, she just came out so cute and I'm really, 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 really happy with it. All right, and last but certainly not least, we have a PDF from Miss Carla Magana. This is actually um, from her Patreon. Um, when you signed up for her Patreon coloring tier, you got like a welcome package with like five PDFs. So this is one of them. So unfortunately, if you're not a Patreon, you won't have access to this PDF, but I definitely recommend she does coloring pages like every month. So this is the one I colored, and this is all watercolor, which is really fun because the person who I'm sending this to actually got me the Paul Rubin watercolor paints, and I hadn't really, you know, experimented with them too much, so I thought it'd be fun to color the page I'm sending him with those paints since he got them for me, so I really hope he likes it. Um, I really like the way that it came out. I was inspired by, of course, Carla Magana's other watercolor pictures. She paints a lot of her pictures with watercolor, so I just took inspiration with her color palettes um, from a different image that she colored. Um, I also used a bunch of gel pen, a bunch of gel pen. You guys know how it goes with Carla's pictures. Um, there is 
sparkle and shine all over the place. We have white jelly roll accents. We have black glaze accents. Silver gel pen. She is so cute, so sparkly. So yeah, it is all watercolor for the pinks and blues and purples and everything. Alright guys, so that is everything I've been up to coloring the past couple of months. I hope you enjoyed seeing seeing that and hanging out with me for a bit. I really appreciate you being here. Um, if you aren't already, please subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment. It helps me so much and I love, love, love talking to you guys in the comments and hearing from you. It always makes my day. I really appreciate all of the support um, and yeah, I hope I hear from you guys soon. I will be posting another video uh, hopefully this weekend talking about everything that I read in the month of January. So I've had a few requests for people uh, telling me that I should talk about books more on my channel. So I'm going to do a mixture of obviously what this channel is about, which is coloring, my coloring hobby, but kind of throw in books as well here and there. So I'm going to do a color and chat and I always have troubles of what to chat about in a coloring chat. So what better way um, than to just kind of give you a wrap up on everything that I read in the month of January. So if you're interested in that, definitely stay tuned. That will be going up soon. Um, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for hanging out, you guys. I hope you all have a beautiful, wonderful rest of your morning, day, or night. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.